Hello, everybody, and welcome to Honey and Bear's Rap Rapid Review. So today we're reviewing Angry Orchards Orchards we're Hard Fruit Cider. Do you want to start that over again? No, I got that. Okay. No, just stumbled a little bit. I got that. Let's do this. Angry Orchards Hard Fruit Cider. Tropical. To read. All right, we got. Where's it from? I believe this one's also based out of Cincy. Because I was reading on the box, it was like a parent company, or it's out of New York. Also, it's like the main Angry Orchard places out of New York. I said it somewhere in the box, but I can't remember where I saw it. Walden, New York. There we go. Walden, New York. Got it. Not Cincy. Walden, New York. Mobby. It's got this really sexy tree on it. I don't know why he's looking at me like that's not an angry tree. Those are some smoldering eyes. Ingredients. We actually have ingredients because it is a cider. So we're going to do the whole breakdown of nutritional facts and ingredients real quick for y'all. Do that because it's impossible to read. The red on black is not digging it. Anyways, we have 160 calories in a can. One, 20 milligrams of sodium, 17 total carb, 70 grams of total carbohydrates, 13 grams sugars. That includes 12 grams added sugar. We've got a little bit of calcium, 18 milligrams, and a little bit of potassium, 202 milligrams. That's an awkward number. Okay, then. Um, wow, so the ingredients, give me a second, this might be harder than I thought. Hard cider, water, cane sugar, apple juice from concentrate, natural flavor, citric acid, malic acid, pineapple puree, carbon dioxide, and sulfates to preserve freshness. It's a 5 percenter ABV, it's average, I'll deal with that. I'm still digging on this artwork on this can because, um, that tree though. No, it's cute. It's, it's a very detailed can. Very summery. Very cool again. A lot of detail. Shiny. There's a bug on me. Don't mind me. I apologize. Price was point was 99 or nine ninety nine a six pack. $99. So. $1,000. <laughs> 99 Wow. So, nine ninety nine a six pack. Not bad. Right on point for craft stuff. Um, now, we uh, Angry Orchard is a little bit more mainstream for ciders, so I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good already. Uh, they do make some good brews, and this is their hard fruit cider edition, so this actually has the puree in it and whatnot from real fruit, uh, they say. Who knows? All right, let's do this. Ooh. That is some passion fruit. So it wow. does say pineapple and passion fruit. And you can smell the pineapple, but passion fruit. Mm, I'm excited. Nice head for a cider. Mm -hmm. Definitely a nice head for a cider. Change the smell. Still smells good though. Change the smell. You can smell the pineapple a little bit more and the mm -hmm. apples now. Yeah, it's um, the apples definitely. Woke, woke the rest of the flavors up. Before it was just like smacking the face passion fruit. Now it's everything else is coming out and it definitely. Uh, good color for a cider. Mm -hmm. Very, very average color. Beer looking ish. So, you know, if you're trying to hide the fact that you're drinking a cider, hey, you can do that. <laughs> 
So it's got a really good color. Nice head for a cider. A little cloudy, but that has probably has something to do with that puree that they mm -hmm. put in and the whole uh, hard fruit cider thing going on. Mm -hmm. um, but it's filtered pretty nicely. There's no sediment in there. It looks good. Yeah, this got a good moment to sit, so, you know, usually uh, you're going to build up some kind of sediment. Mm -hmm. um, it still smells absolutely it. amazing. All right. You ready? <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. But mm. being only 13 grams of sugar, it's not horrible. And it is cane sugar that they used, and it. it's not stevia, so that's cool. I always do enjoy when it's cane sugar and not stevia, because I hate the taste of stevia. There's no way you can mask it. It just, you can taste it. It's gross. So the raw cane sugar in there is, is nice. The pineapple's hit me first, and then the passion fruit just hits hard after that. And at the very end, as I'm talking now, the apple's kicking in. But that, that passion fruit, then pineapple, I mean, whew. Mm, I agree. It isn't until, like, the very end you can taste the apple. Um, but good, you can definitely taste that passion fruit. I like this hard fruit, uh, one, these hard fruit ciders that they make. I've had a lot of their regular ones. And uh, these, the puree that they're putting in definitely gives it more the natural flavor i mm -hmm. want to say uh good job to them on this one like this and this is pretty good <sighs> me personally i think the passion fruits hit me too much it's a little intense uh very sweet though personally i think i'm gonna give it like an eight I think I'll, I'll bank, uh, rank it with eight. Definitely resell, uh, rebuy value. I will definitely buy this again. It's really good. Yeah, you know, I'm actually um, not a super huge fan. And Jesus is in the table. Do you see it? I see. Cool. Um, I'm actually not like it's it's good, but it's almost it's a little much. Like I like that it's natural and I like the natural flavoring and everything. Like that. So it's not like super artificial and like it's actual like fruit flavor. So that's cool. I think I'll give it an eight as well, but I don't think I would rebuy it though. I think this is it, it's nice to have this time, but otherwise I'm not a super huge fan. So I'll give it an eight, but no rebuy. I'll go eight with the rebuy. So just to recap, Angry Orchards. Hard Sexy fruit tea. cider, tropical, with pineapple and passion fruit. And a sexy ad dream. Um, ninety nine, nine ninety nine a six pack. Five percent ABV. Like the can, like the advertisement. Looks good. Little cloudy. Good filtration. Really sweet. Yeah, I like. It. But. No rebuy for her, rebuy for me. Yeah. You know. So. All right, then. All right. So thank you guys for joining us at Honey and Bear's Beverage Review.